we're on a very exciting mission to collect the first bit of garden furniture for the walled garden. And here's Ian to help us with the van. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? They're yeah, really. Hey, well, you'd have to do a I see. She's going to be again. So they're 19th century garden furniture and it's grapes. So we'll be putting them on the pergola, the new terrace under the pergola, under the grapes. So it just seemed perfect. We're pretty sure they're English. So finally, we're going to have some garden furniture for the walled garden. I'm not sure how much Davy is going to approve. Davy, do you want to know in the comments? <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a text the minute you see this. It's been a busy day. I'm not just collecting the lovely furniture that we've got, joy of joys. I'm getting my booster shot, so busy day. Hey, home sweet home. First things first, let's go see my cousin in the downstairs, Lou. Something started to happen in here. It's the moment I thought I would never see. The coving has started to go up. I like it, I like the shape. He's here, he's here. He's here, where's my cousin? There he is, <laughs> the man responsible. It feels so good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's only like, you can see a slight little variation in that joint, it's only because I've dry fitted it. So when the adhesive is on, it just brings it down that little bit, so then it'll be flush. You just tack them on with that, with the adhesive yeah. set, and then you take them off and then you... Then you do the up. edges. Then you fill them up, yeah. I like it because I like the fact that it goes not very low down, and yet still looks quite grand. Deeper, yeah. Because we had almost nothing over the window. Mm. So it was really hard to find something that would fit. Yeah. It looks really nice. So I've got this piece cut. Okay. Sort of dry fit that one, then I'm just going to do this And this one. bit, yeah. Come to there. Carry on around. Yeah. Fantastic. And then start doing the plumbing, to start doing the plumbing tomorrow. Maybe. I'm very proud you, of you. You haven't looked down there, have you? No, I'm not going to look at the fact that you've cut a big hole in my wallpaper. Yeah. Let's mm. pretend that hasn't happened. Yeah, I did have a bit of this. There you go. <laughs> Never yeah. happened, but you had to. Yeah, we really, it wasn't just for, for messing around, it was to take it out. We need to put a plate on there for the hot and cold feed to come in. The okay. waste as well, we can put now a solid, flex, a solid pipe instead of a flexi pipe. Okay, no, yeah. good. I'm glad that you're on this. And we're going to try and take the 4-inch out, well, 100 mil out, and change the configuration of the pan. Yes, because when I was in here earlier with Amory, we realised that the loo, which has always been against this wall where the white pipe is, coming forward towards the camera, we realised when we moved it in that it looks way better on the diagonal but so much better and the room looks bigger. Makes it look a bigger. So Amory's changing around all of the waste to be able to bring it around onto the diagonal. Yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll take the um, stop, the timber, and yeah. the stop, take that out, yeah. build the wall back out. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. And I think it was a brilliant idea you came up with, Amory, absolutely brilliant. Well, in theory, got to put it in practice now. Don't you find <laughs> it somewhat ironic that the own, one, of, one of the only rooms with working heating <laughs> Is the unused downstairs loo. Yeah, but we've got to, got to thank Dan for that though. It was Dan who walked in here and just looked here and thought, Yeah, oh, I think this one would work. I think off. this is on the working it's system. A, it was Dan who saw so, it. So this Dan. is a magnificently warm radiator. So when you're, trying, when you're spending a penny, yeah, <laughs> you'll be very warm. warm. Okay, yeah. I'm going to leave you to it. I'll come back later. I'm so sad you're leaving today. Oh. Alrighty. Oh, Natty! Wow. Woohoo! Yay! Well done, Natty! Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. It is not every day we have breakfast together. No. I hope you realise this is very important, Anton Stephen. Yes. That we've all gathered. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> <laughs> How are you all? Oh, really good. Yes. And you? You want me to leave? Yes. Wait, no, sorry, sorry. We're not leaving. Oh, You're I'm leaving. <laughs> I, oh no! no I'm sorry. You got all, are you all happy around. to leave? No, we're no, no, we not. Be gone. Yeah. These look so good, Natty. Yeah. Wow. Well, off they are. And here's also the leche. If you want to try a little bit. Yeah. Thank you so much. Am I here so, or? No, you're here. I'm here. Sorry. I'm here is there. So mm. can I say a huge, huge thank you to all of you, especially you two, of course, and Amori, Nati, Sabina, Micah, and one one of them, Maria. Micah, okay. so welcome, and to make our Christmas such a happy event. And 
thank you for all your company and your your different personality, everything gelled together, and it's been a, a lovely, a lovely Christmas, one to remember. Oh. It's been thank perfect you. for yeah, us, and we don't want you to go. And we don't no. want to really? go. No, really? I don't want to it's go. It's so good to having you here. Yeah. It's been <sighs> wonderful. Let's hope it's the first of many. Mm. Yeah, all yes, right? it will be. Mm? Mm. <laughs> thank you all. Yay! Yay! I'm on to my second pancake now. How about you? Are you on second. first? No, no, second. second. Oh, so you've gone for lemon and sugar. Lemon and sugar. Bit of a classic. A little bit of... Dul yes. Well, I've gone for dulce de leche as my second one, it's yes. Glue. Glue. Mm. Oh, Not too much. There, there we go. Dulce de leche. Mm. I'm very restrained. <laughs> Thank you, Natty. I know that this is very yeah. special. Sorry. Yeah. Dulce de leche. Dulce de leche. Lovely time in the Argentina. Yeah, we Be yeah. safe. Oh, Oh, I always do after you leave. No, it's not as fine. Top down. It's lovely weather. Oh, je t'aime. I love you. See you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. See you soon. Bye. 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 I don't like it, Amory. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it really does. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a big day in the dining room. Um, it, we just get so happy when we can actually just put everything out and look at it. Yes. But basically we are sorting all of the porcelain and taking up to Narnia the things that we don't use on a daily basis. All the really nice things that we- Yeah, the really nice things we want safe until exactly, the China, China pantry's China. done. Yes. I think um, that can go upstairs, yeah. We need to keep or, all the cake stands the kitchen, up there. Maybe no, we've got these in the kitchen. I think most of the ones in the kitchen could go upstairs because how often yes, do we use them? Yeah. We keep one in the kitchen, maybe, and that's oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone's like, I love yeah, those. No, they're salad plates. I, salad? That is not a salad portion. Well, they're for any side portion. It doesn't have to be for salad. No, no, it can true. be for anything next to a plate, and but I would love them. That moon shape is usually used for salad. Well, actually, we haven't had them that long. They arrived in Caddo a few months ago, Beautiful. and there's four. So Two black ones, too. Yeah, two purple ones. Yeah. I think you're going to use them in your videos as well, aren't you? Yes, but Table also, I think, so I have a few of these for my grandparents. Yeah. They had a set of six, and I always use them as soap dishes next to... Yeah. No, that's, actually, they'd like, be amazing for that. If you want to have olives... On yes, yes, nibbles... Yeah. Dressing, stuff like that. They're quite stunning. They're nice. Are they in dishwasher safe? Yeah. No, I love the way every time we look at anything, the first question from Maria and Sabina, is it dishwasher safe? <laughs> I think it is. Yes, These I think so. Are, they are. are. Favorites. <laughs> <laughs> that's just because there's a Russian bear on it. Sure. Yeah, of course, <laughs> that's what it was. Everything in the middle here can go upstairs. Here we're keeping things that we think we're going to be using quite a lot mm. over the next few weeks. Yeah. What about the um, porcelain cups on the other side? Oh, the Mazagran um, cups, like the little goblets, yeah. they can all go up to the attic as well. Okay. And we just get them from there when we need them. Mm -hmm. And how many of these things are going up? I don't know, tell me. Okay, um, these, we tend to use at Easter, but that's fine, they can go upstairs till then. What about these are also the Easter plates, they're the Fabergé egg ones. They can go up till Easter. Sure. It's a few more months so away. I use them a lot as under plates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, I what love those. Mary would call them fake Chinese. <laughs> Euro Chinese. Mm. They can go upstairs. Well, I love those. Okay. And the purpose of all of this is to make this cupboard much clearer. It was so, so filled with things. It was hard to grab anything. Yeah. So it's going to be much calmer in here. Nick and Marie are arriving today. And so Philip has decided he wants to spend the afternoon making this look as homely and welcoming as possible because yes. this is not feeling very ready for them can i show you something sure you know what looks worse what i'm gonna run to breathe though because this look hmm it's not ideal is it no <laughs> why are they that weird color as well yeah i don't understand but the, the lights are white and yes. There's one that's orange. One's orange. The final cap. The orange one's a lot nicer, actually. I mean, the final one is here. You've got that. Okay, so you're going to sort that out. Mm. Hmm. Also, there's lots of paintings that are Nick's. 
uh, yeah. that are lying around the chateau, which would be quite lovely to put up here. Because they've got one oh, of course, way too what high. a good idea. There's one there that's just. Resting. Yeah, there's nothing really going on. I mean, obviously, we're going to completely redecorate in future, yeah, but for yeah. now, just making it look as nice as possible. We should try and move the mirror out for the grand salon. Yes. See if we can store it there. And the painting as could well. Could go to the marquee for now. Exactly, that would be great. And um, there's something else. So remember the beautiful 30 sideboard that used to be in the grand salon? Oh yeah, to yeah. The far that right. I don't want to keep in there. No. Uh, and it would be perfect for this room. So I thought maybe sideboard there. Also, we need to get the fire lit. Because yes. it's absolutely freezing. I'm going to go and put the Actually, radiators on upstairs. Cold. I am freezing. Okay. They they have not been living here. They will be freezing. All right. And I realised that back in the summer when it was done, we never filmed the completed bathroom. But the bathroom is totally finished here. I really, really love the flooring. So that is all ready for them. This is the bathroom that Nick and Marie chose. And since then, they've decided that they don't want to choose the rest of the decoration. They would like Philip and I to do it. And then just liaise with them over it. It's gonna be really fun. Give them different options and they can be like, yeah, oh, I love that. It's gonna like be that. great. It's gonna be a 30s dream. Okay, all the heating's on. You can start on downstairs. I'm working at my desk and I see that the sideboard is indeed going into Nick and Marie's. It's a bit of a race against time now. They'll be here any minute. Wow, it is all happening now. There goes Daddy's painting. So I think that must be being stored in the Marquis' sitting room for now. Let's go and see how Philip's getting on. How is it going? I mean, it's going. Look, there is a sideboard. I like it very much in yeah, here. The painting's over here. So we're waiting for Dan to get here. Yeah, and to help then, carry that mirror. Exactly, and we can carry it to the castle. And Michael's here as well. He'll help carry. So just call Perfect. everyone you need and we'll all come and yes, help. because it's quite heavy. Hi, Nettie. <laughs> Philip's making this room nice. I just wanted to take a peek. But it's got the sideboard. It's Not much has happened it. yet, but there's been a lot of moving of furniture. I would Heavy love to. Heavy furniture, right? Yes. Yeah. There's lots of chairs in here. And there's a lot of furniture I think can come out. A lot of chairs for a family yeah. of four. This is so nice. That the, <laughs> all of this was, and all of this in here, yes. was just spread around the room. And now all the board games are away. Exactly. So I think, I hope they'll be very happy with this. Although it's going to back out. Okay. I was thinking, family of four, are you counting the dog over the chair? Uh, <laughs> uh, crot, yeah. crot, I was counting, I together. genuinely, I was, I was counting crot crot. Oh. I've forgotten the poor Sunday is of course a member of the family. Whereas for no, me, it's the, a family the, of four with crot crot. Yeah, no, they're five. They're five now. Oh, we better leave all the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, they can 15. rotate. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Let's have a party. Let's the sofa. Let's have a party here. <laughs> I am standing outside one of the most exciting doors in the chateau. It may look very simple, very innocuous, but behind this is the downstairs loo. Because yes, Amory's done it. He has finished it. Nearly. There is some snagging to do. But follow me into Lalan's downstairs loo. I'm so happy. I am ridiculously happy. Oh, I hope you all like it as much as we do. And can I just draw your attention to the coving? Because remember when we last saw it, it had all the little nails in, Amory was just putting it up. He's done it. And it's beautiful. And he's not even a plasterer. He really is incredible. And the big hole underneath the sink that he made, He's finished it so neatly. And now I just have to come in and paint all of the woodwork in here, around the window as well. And we're going to need curtains, but it's beautiful. And I put lots of little perfumes for everybody. I'm also going to find some lovely hand cream and lots of nice things, and I will dress it properly. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I can't believe you did it in time of the end of the year. So 2021 is officially the year that the downstairs loo was completed and look, the waterworks. I love the taps and the taps even match the loo roll holder. It's a little thing but it makes me really happy and all of that plumbing that Amory had to do here, look how neatly he finished it all. And again I have to paint this bit but it's so neatly done. 
And now he is going to make a radiator cover. I have to order the grill because we're going to have um, a radiator grill in a chrome and then he'll make the wooden frame around it. And then I have to do the painting and then we have a lantern that's going to go up here, a little lantern just to lighten this part of the corridor and we are done. So a huge thank you to Amory, also a huge thank you to Selma for the work he did here and for the floor, which if you look down, it looks as though it has always been here. It is extraordinary that he spent weeks chiseling these stones so they would fit perfectly and look as though they had never been changed. Well, we have a usable downstairs loo and I am extremely happy, as is everyone else, because when we're at dinner, it's a lot easier to come here than to go up to our rooms. It is really hard for me to get on and do anything else today and I've got a lot to do because I just want to stay and look at all of the porcelain. I love this set so much and underneath it the Easter set that goes with the plate that's over here. Nah. Look how pretty they are. I love it. They're so lovely and then these are the plates for that set. I love this one so much. It's and so this beautiful. is absolutely one of my favourites. Is it the, the Herod's one? Yeah, yeah. This is the one from Harrods that I was sent as a gift last Christmas. And I absolutely love it. We should use it as a set for two. We should make a little table for two one day. I love that. I mean, I don't think there's ever only just two of us in the <laughs> house. <laughs> the entire Peacock family are out here. And I think, as usual, whenever we have something new here, they come out just to keep an eye on things. I think it's the new chairs, don't you, Philip? Definitely. <laughs> so these are the chairs that we bought. There's a little two-seater. And by little, I mean really, really small. But... I have a love-hate relationship with these. I think that they are simultaneously hideous and awesome. But when we have the new paint on them, which they really need, they are solid cast iron, 19th century British garden furniture. They're not for the terrace, they're for the walled garden, under the pergola, which the vines will be coming down on. So there'll be grapes on here and grapes coming down above. And Philip and I were thinking that we would use these to create a little afternoon tea area in the walled garden and we'll make beautiful covered cushions. We'll find a lovely outdoor fabric, make cushions for all of them, then get a little tea table that can stay outside in cast iron. That will be where we go in summer. It's, it's nice to imagine summer at the moment, though as you can see, it's actually pretty warm today. And we can sit and have tea and scones, maybe a little champagne afternoon tea. The grapes are really fun, but I love the acanthus leaf legs. I've never seen anything like it. Michael Potts says that from behind, they look like one of our silky chickens, <laughs> which I kind of see what he means. Now I can see this working for an afternoon tea. Surrounded by the climbing roses that Davies also ordered for the pergola, I think it's going to be beautiful. I feel as though next year is going to be quite exciting actually because there's so many projects that are going to be completed in the new year and this is a really lovely one. I know it's not a big building project but just getting the furniture to complete an area that we've been working on makes a very very big difference. What do you think of them? I think they're iconic. <laughs> okay I like the word iconic. It's a love-hate relationship you have as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're going to look really good, but I don't love them. A lot of you will remember them because a few months ago, Philip and I went and bought some furniture at one of the little dressing tables in Chambre Rose at the, at the old mill in La Chartre. And we'd seen these, but they were too expensive. I actually can't remember how much they were at the time, but I remember me saying that, no, I couldn't afford it. But the man who sold them to me is actually emigrating to Tahiti. And he said that he would take an offer for cash just before leaving. He's already left now, actually. I just got them and he went. So I thought, well, as you say, they're pretty iconic and they'll be really fun there. And they're incredible quality. So now this is it. They've come to La Lande after all. It must have been meant to be. Yeah. So you've organized everything. Yeah, Sabina and I have done it. We, we've wow. done the cupboard in the attic and then- I want to go and see it. Okay, let's yeah. look here. Do you, you have to do the honors, you two. Okay. Talk me through the cupboard. Right. So we have tea sets for and miscellaneous nice plates. Yes. And the bare plates that you said you wanted to use. Yes. So that you can see them. These these ones, that whole set. Oh I love that set. Here. Then we have the peacock 
the service. entire peacock service and davies that you said you also yes. wanted to use and these are the one type of the pink plates mm -hmm. altogether. the charger plates that everyone uses all the time and then the renault set that we use that all the time this looks superb and it's so Hopefully calm and fine. organized it was very satisfying yes. to organize it you enjoyed it yes should we go see upstairs yes you show you show upstairs oh okay <laughs> let's see if we can open the door this right. time Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Teapots. I love everything. Both miscellaneous and small. So everything is so yes. much easier to find. Yes. This was so beautiful. And this Versace one. Oh, this, is my favorite. this is the Alberto Pinto one. Oh, I love and them. Yes. And goblets yes. galore. Which and extra space. These are. Stephanie. So glorious. So extra space. Extra space. So just let us know and we will be <laughs> happy. <laughs> Bring more up yes. here. Then we have all of the Christmas plates, mm -hmm. the fish set, more Christmas plates. Valentine's. The Valentine. Yes. Very excited about that one. And then are you ready for this? Ooh. No. Okay, yes. that was really clever. And this is the mismatch service that I really love. That's most of my favourite plates are in that pile, I think. It's fantastic. My mother's dinner service. Amazing. Thank you so much, both of you. You're welcome. I love Narnia. Okay, now I can come. It's really cool here. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it so good? I think Emma was saying about um, getting like a lamppost. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it should happen. Wait. Right? Um, I have to sort of jiggle it a little bit, mm. which sounds not like a great idea. Yeah. Okay, just okay. be very careful. No porcelain mm. was harmed <laughs> in the closing of this drawer. <laughs> Love okay. it. And we was talking about getting like a lamppost here. Yes. Sort of recreate yeah, Narnia. that's it. We want a full on proper yeah, Narnia lamppost. Yeah, yeah. And someone was saying in the comments that quite a lot of the stuffed animals could be in here, almost like the little creatures that inhabit yeah. Narnia and maybe some fake trees. Yes. It oh, would be amazing. I can see fake trees are step too far for me. But no, 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 come just on. Just a bunch of fake Christmas trees all year round. Yeah, you're with me, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> just the lamppost. Chic and minimalist. And the Chic full Narnia. Figure of Mr. What's his name? The oh, the cent the centaur. The fawn. Oh, Mr. Fawn. Tumnus. 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 Yes. Actually, the best idea someone said yeah. was that there should be a way of going through one of the wardrobes yes. into a little hidden room that's just for getting dressed, you know, for the costume cabinets, mm -hmm. and which is entirely wallpapered in a forest wallpaper. Yes. That would be cool. That's, that that that's is amazing, isn't it? Trees. Yeah, yeah, that, that is better than fake trees. Amazing. That's so cool. But where would would you do it in the other? Yeah, maybe. maybe so maybe you could go through. I don't know, well, we could section off a larger area than that. Yeah. So you walk through and there is a sectioned area behind. I think it could be pretty easy to do. And you could just buy some old wardrobe drawers, right? Yeah, that yeah. Oh. That, that would be really fun. <laughs> There's a lot more to be done up here. <laughs> Why not? Taking shape. Thanks for doing the porcelain. Yeah, you're welcome. This is amazing. The gnome is out. Oh, Philip, fantastic. Okay, it's getting snugger and snugger all the time. The fire is now lit. Thank goodness, things are getting warmer in here. Oh, and it's not lovely to see. Cracking fire you've made. Thank you. Oh, and you've got his chicken mask ready. Huh. Do you need more lamps? Oh, that's exactly what you've been getting. Yes. So I love what you're doing. And you've got all of Nick's masks to put up. Yes, I'm gonna get some more paintings and stuff too. You are so thoughtful, honestly. Do you like it? Well, look, the whole place needs total <laughs> redecoration but it's starting to look snugger and snugger. Good. These um, telephone tables were left behind by the last person living here. Uh, very retro. <laughs> I'm not sure they're gonna make it through to the redecoration, but- No, I just needed something Quite there. fun. So I thought it was fine? Yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine for now, yes. The little bar. Yeah. I really like what you're doing. I'm sitting at my desk and I've just seen the lights of Nick and Maddie's car arriving. I don't even know if Philip's managed to finish, but let's go and see how they are. <gasps> what, what are you wearing, Sunday? Bien, Manini. Regarde. Oh. oh. You're all wet and disgusting. Oh, yes. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh. Sunday, you look amazing. <laughs> is it still Sunday or is it mainly poupette now? Uh, poupette. <laughs> <laughs> So has the change in name been approved? Or is like Poupette a nickname and Sunday's her actual name? Exactly. Yes. So when we okay. go to the vet, it's Sunday. Sunday. Mm. Yeah. Like the lapin is actually when we go to the 
that is Noisette. Oh, is he? <laughs> Not to name any of us have ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so happy you're here. We're really happy. Yes. Uh, it was a bit of a grim journey. It's been oh. raining a lot. Well, you've arrived now and right. Nicholas yes. can immediately start to <laughs> enjoy his masks and read the classics. Plato, a little Aristotle tonight, Nick. Silence. He is in the room. He looks very excited. <laughs> <laughs> because the little tree's only just been put up, it needs a little while for its branches to drop down. Yes. Might take a while. You keep an eye on it, I Antoine. Think he is a little bit older. Yeah, yeah, so he's he's a bit arthritic. He's angry at us. Angry for getting here after Christmas. Yes, because they this little... It's very sharp. It's very sharp. The needles, yeah, yes. very, very sharp. The fire is raging. The candles are lit. You can settle in, but before you settle, one, we're going to take that mirror out of here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but two, I've got something to show you. Uh, follow, follow me. me. Okay. Okay. You can go in. For that. Go ahead. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mon dieu, it's the most luxurious loo. And this is probably the warmest place in the chateau. It is so warm in here. <laughs> we still have to get the um, radiator cover. Yeah. yeah. And we need to do painting around the window, new curtains, this but is we're done. Amazing! Wow! <gasps> well done. I feel like this is where we should get ready for parties, even though it's a downstairs yeah. loo. <laughs> You're just basically having a little tour of the Christmas decorations. It's like Blackpool Illumination Tour. Yes. Yes, peacock tree. We've made a little welcome spread. Here we have the Norwegian salami tasting of the most delicious parmesan. 24 months, 30 months, 36 months. The Norwegian brown cheese, of course. So welcome to Norwegian night. La la. Thank you. And most importantly as well, Michael Potts has been making old fashions with bourbon. I love it, Michael. Good. Now, what are you doing over there? You're doing something really exciting. Um, no, I, I just I spilled flour in the uh, stove and I was making bread, so... Yeah, that's what I meant, you're making quickly, bread. Quickly cleaning it before Maria comes back <laughs> and uh, makes dinner because... Otherwise, you're toast. Yeah. But does that mean we're having fresh bread tonight? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's really good to have you home. Yeah. Really, really good. Happy. <laughs> Lovely. Cheers, Cheers all Cheers. and welcome home. Cheers. 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 A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande, Yeland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia, Begum, Denise, Behrens, Lauren, Bell, Danelle Banakovich, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Matthew Chupp, Gregory Clear, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Jimmy Connolly, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patton, Nord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Doobie, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, John Hostetler, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Sandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Film Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, David and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Grant and Erin McLoon, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Joey Mullen, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Noring, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatic, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, Colette Retif, RJB, Bettina Rose, Jack Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Sabrina Soati, Nanette Solverson, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stapura, Sabrina Surrett, and The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Viest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo. And thanks to all of you.